What's up guys, it's Two Bucks, and today I have a pretty decent commentary in store for you guys. It's been a fine day overall, just got back home from school. Generally, when I come home from school, I'll give uh, a couple of my friends a ride home in my Super Baller Porsche. Actually, just kidding, I drive a 10-year-old Corolla, it's my mom's old car, but uh, it does the trick. Gets me from uh, here and there, you know, and it's pretty fuel efficient, so it's a good enough car for me. But today I decided to say fuck you friends and not give them a ride because I felt like doing something for myself. I drove about five minutes to a, a local McDonald's, picked up a crispy chicken sandwich with fries and no coke because I was going to get something else for refreshment. That's right, a Dairy Queen Blizzard. They were all delicious. It was like 82 degrees today so I had to get something nice and cold for my tummy. This whole process took about 20 minutes, so I had a good amount of time to myself to think about some random chat, and I came up with an idea for a commentary about freedom and responsibilities. As I was driving around, I realized that it was kind of nice having this freedom to be able to, you know, go wherever I want, because for the first, you know, 16 or 17 years of my life, I didn't have a car, but now that I do, I can pretty much do whatever I want after school, and if it means going to McDonald's and getting some food, you know, I can do that now. So it felt good. Freedom, you know, feels good. Definitely improves your quality of life. And I also realized that it was nice that I had a bit of pocket change to spend on McDonald's and Dairy Queen. Now that I, you know, have a job and am making some money, I can afford to uh, hit up those places once per week. It really still is quite expensive. I mean, the whole thing cost me like 12 bucks. I don't even know how it was that much because I only got a sandwich, fries, and a small blizzard, but it was pretty expensive. But you know, I don't really want to get chubby. I'm pretty uh, lean right now, but who knows, my metabolism might just randomly start slowing down and I might swell up like an oaf. But that is completely off topic. Anyway, as I was thinking about uh, these newfound freedoms that I had, I was uh, beginning to realize that this really is the most free time that I will have in my entire life, basically. For the first 16 or 17 years of my life, aka my childhood, I guess, I was constantly under the supervision of my parents. If I ever had to do anything, I would have to ask them. You know, before when I used to ride my bike around, there was a certain radius that I couldn't go out of, and they never really gave me any money to spend on stuff, you know. Now that I do have some, it's because I've earned it. So, there really wasn't that much freedom. I'm not saying I blame my parents for that, you know, that's the right thing for them to do, really. Parents should restrict the freedoms of their children because children, you know, have a less sense of moral and safety and that type of stuff. But when children are growing up like I am, well, technically I'm already an adult, it's uh, okay for parents to start giving them some freedoms. So you might be asking, well, two bucks, won't you just get more freedom once you're able to move out of the house? And won't you really be able to do whatever you want and no one can stop you? Well, I figure when I'm an adult or even when I'm in college, my freedom is going to start being restricted by responsibilities. I'm going to have to start paying the bills. In college, I'm going to have a shitload of schoolwork and probably a busy schedule, a lot of things to get to. And when I'm an adult, I'll probably have a family to look after with my boyfriend. Okay, for all of you who don't know, I really am not a homosexual. I just randomly like to say my boyfriend in the videos. I usually get like a hundred comments asking me if I'm gay or not, even though in most of my commentaries I talk about breasts. So I want to brighten up a little bit there. But like I was saying, you know, with my boyfriend, I'll probably raise a family, a kid or two. And that means a lot of responsibilities. I'll have to take them to school and all that stuff, pay for their education, maybe have a pet, and, you know, pleasure my boyfriend. So when I refer to freedom, I'm not talking about the freedom that the government gives you to do whatever you want, because under that definition, I'm still completely free. All these responsibilities that I will have with school and family and stuff is going to be self-imposed. When I think of freedom, I think of the ability to basically do whatever I want spontaneously. You may have your own perception of freedom, but that's just mine at this moment as a teenager. So I think of responsibilities as anti-freedom thingies. They 
don't let you do whatever you want spontaneously, you know. When I am an adult and am running my own business, I'll probably have a lot of things to get to, and I won't just be able to go drive around and have a good time after work, like I am now after school. I'll probably have to go to my son's, you know, ballet recital instead of being able to go to Dairy Queen. And I'm not saying that my adult life's gonna suck because I'll have all these responsibilities. There'll probably be responsibilities that I'll want to take. I'm just saying that right now as a teenager, I should enjoy the freedoms that I have while they last. And I'm telling all of you guys to do that as well. Obviously, there's going to be members of my uh, audience from all different age groups. But I think for just about everyone, you get more responsibilities as you get older. So don't take the uh, freedoms you have now for granted. Go out, have a good time, you know. Take advantage of this while you still can. Right now, if you're still living with your parents, your parents are paying all the bills they're handling all the real estate issues. Your mom is still probably making food or at least buying food for you. There's just a lot of uh, adult responsibilities that I don't have to take care of right now, which gives me some free time to do stuff. And I'm sure all of you have that as well. You know, we don't have to work to uh, pay for life, basically. So go ahead and enjoy it. And when we do all become adults and have jobs and stuff, I suggest that you guys don't work too hard or... Don't take up too many responsibilities. Always leave some time every day for yourself to just do whatever you want. Don't even schedule it. Just spontaneously do it. And I think those are where some of life's best moments can come from, especially if you're doing it with friends. I sometimes fear that when I'm an adult, I'll be just an enormous workaholic because like I've said in this commentary and in many past commentaries, I'll be starting my own company. So I fear that I'll be working like 18 hours a day getting uh, very little sleep the rest of the time, you know, for eating and stuff. I'll wake up one day and I'm 40 and I realize that I haven't done anything spontaneous my entire life. None of you want that to happen, so do stuff. And the phone is ringing. Hello? Ah, okay, to handle a phone call. Some uh, fangirl wants to meet up later and have sex, so gotta take care of that. Just kidding. Girls don't like me. Actually, they do. But only as a friend. They don't want my cock. <clears throat> Alright, so like I was saying, basically, uh, always leave some time for yourself. And that's about it, I think. And if you're a YouTuber, feel free to uh, post your own commentary response to this video. I'll accept them. This might be a decent topic to uh, discuss with your subscribers. And uh, pass on a good message and stuff. So, oh, also feel free to rate the video if you liked it. That's about it. See y'all later.